the road to the championship is over. Sports director John Schaefer has this year's winners and losers for classes 1A and 1-2A in girls soccer. Yes, welcome back out to County Soccer Complex today, the final day of high school spring sports here in the state of Iowa as we crown three more champions in girls soccer. Today, we start in class 1A, Des Moines Christian and Davenport Assumption. Assumption seeking a fifth straight title, Des Moines Christian going after their first. The Lions were on their heels a bit in the first half. Keeper Ashley Van Hoekelum coming up with a big save there on the doorstep, but Assumption breaks through in the 25th minute. Sam Skideller sweeps in, sneaks by the keeper and slips the shot to the twine. Knights are on the board, 1-0. Second half, not a lot happening. 79th minute, though, Knights seal this one up with a kiss to the back of the net by Skideller. 2 nothing would be your final. What a great run by the Lions. They just ran into the buzzsaw. That is assumption. We're lucky. We're really lucky to be here. It's our first time in the state tournament. So, I mean, the fact that we got here is super special, and I think it's something that we'll all remember for the rest of our lives. And we came up short, which is obviously really disappointing, but... We're thankful to be here. We had a lot of fun along the way. We made our season go as long as possible, and there's just so many laughs and memories along the way. So uh, at the end of the day, we're thankful. Class 2A DCG has knocked off the 2-3 and three seed today. A chance to beat number one Waverly Shell Rock, but third minute, the Gohawks with a go-ahead goal off the foot of Kenzie Rowling. She buries her 73rd goal of the season. More from her in just a bit. DCG, though, finding an answer. Shot on net is mishandled. Ella Forsyth is Ella on the spot. Puts home the rebound, nodding it at one all. The Gohawks get back on track with two more goals in the half. They'd pour it on in the second half as Rolling nets her third goal of this game here. Her 75th on the season, DCG finishing runner-up in Class 2A. Not the storybook ending we wanted, but at the same time, you can't really hang your head when you're playing in a state final game, competing for a state championship there. I mean, we've never been in the state championship game before for me in high school, and so this really means a lot just to be here. And even though we didn't finish how we wanted to, I feel like our team laid it out there. And overall, it was just a good game. And both teams played hard, and I'm just kind of glad why we made it here. Tonight at 9 and 10, we'll get you the 3A title game between Ankeny and Valley. Those highlights right here on Local 5.